Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We are playing some Star Wars Legion today, and uh, this is all terrain from Urban Mats. Uh, we're using some of the Tatooine kind of uh, buildings, as well as some of that desert rocky terrain. And uh, I even put one, maybe like an old Obi-Wan or some old hermit's hut that doesn't want to live in town with everybody else. And it's a Rebel versus Rebel mirror match today. Uh, although it's not exactly, while their factions are the same, the lists are quite different. I'm running five vehicles. Uh, I'm running an AA-5 as my field commander with Shriv. I've got a X-34 land speeder with the uh, unstable astromech and uh, R2-D2 might be taking a ride in there uh, with his secret mission. I've got three ATRTs, each with the rotary blaster. I've got two rebel veterans, uh, each with HQ uplink and the rebel comm technician and the uh, CMO-93. And I've got the Mark II medium blaster and a basic order of rebel troopers. Uh, and that's 11 activations. And uh, really the, 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 the hallmark here is the five vehicles trying to uh, get like a lot of armor out there in hopes that uh, that Sean didn't bring a whole lot of impact, but he does have some. So who are your, uh, who's your commanders? What are you running? <clears throat> running Leia Organa with uh, Vigilance and Purple Scanners, which now she can give out a lot more dodge tokens. Mm -hmm. Got the old Han Solo and Chewbacca combo. Mm -hmm. She was running Protector. Yeah, so we have trying out Protector. At the time of recording this, it's not out yet, but yeah. by the time it makes it up, who knows when, yeah. when Protector's going to hit, but that's yeah. cool. And then I got two of my normal, I actually well, upgraded of the uh, Rebel Veterans. I gave them targeting scopes and offensive push. Okay. And the comms and all the other stuff. So, all right, nice. Yeah. And two Rebel Troopers V6, uh, Z6, I'm sorry, with Fragmentation Grenades. And I got a good old laser cannon. And actually, we, we like so we don't plan on these lists. I do actually have the overcharge generator. All right. So I have a little extra impact. You got a little extra impact, and you got some critical. You got lots of yeah, critical one of the veterans and stuff. Oh, I, I lied when I said all the terrain yeah, was yeah. by Urban Mats because I do have the uh, the the crash escape pod uh, from FFG where you get R two and three PO. But uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're both at eight hundred points, so we're gonna kind of roll it off and then uh, set up uh, pick objectives and do deployment and all of that and uh, and then let. Uh, fill our glasses with a little um, healthy, healthy, uh, healthy Glen Livet. All right, so we are deployed. Um, we ended up with uh, bombing run, clear conditions, and major offensive. So I have from here all the way up to there. I've got the AA5, one ATRT over here, and everything else up this way. Um, Sean's got both Rebel veterans, the Mark IIs, and Leia over here, and all the rest of his stuff over here. A couple of Rebel Z6s, Han and Chewie and the, the uh, FD turret. And uh, and we've marked our bomb units. Uh, this is gonna be one of mine, this is gonna be one of mine, and this ATRT is gonna be one of mine. And he gave it to Han Chewie and these Rebel Z6s. And we're getting ready to play command cards and uh, and kind of activate first turn here. You got yours? Yep. All right, I'm ready. Oh, okay. Uh, bombardment, I'm going with assault. I want to give out three orders. And uh, mine are going to go to both heavies and R2-D2. So this way I have only core and support in the pile. That's not bad. Yeah, it gives me a, it gives me a pretty good amount of activation control. I'm not going to activate any HQ uplinks this turn. But I do have to some, do something at the start of the activation phase, which will be to roll this guy and hand out aim tokens. And I'm range three from everybody. So I'll roll three red defense dice. Uh, well, actually, no, are you going to do any HQ uplinks before I do this? No. Okay. I'm not doing any either. And uh, only one aim token. Wow. Okay. So I got two blanks. Man, my red dice. Good thing we're not playing Imperials today. <laughs> yeah, the one time. That's a good yeah. point. I'm going to hand the aim over to the uh, the speeder, though, um, just in case I get any shots on this guy. I'd rather have it there. I think he's the one that's maybe most likely to get an aim. And uh, this guy with the reckless driver, he's going to be able to get pretty far. I might be able to make it into his deployment zone uh, on the first turn. And drop the bomb and kill Han, Chewie, and the Z6s, and the other Z6s, and his turret all in the first activation. I just, he looked at me when I said that, like, what are you doing? I, I, I can't really do that. I just wanted to see what he would say. Uh, but we do have shielded too, because of the gonk droid also. So Ooh, we're, uh, we're going to start, <laughs> yeah, we're going to start activating and see how this goes. All right, so we're a couple of activations in. Um, I, I took my ATRT here, and I, instead of kind of going around to these guys, I'm moving up this way. Um, he's taking, he took Leia, shot, uh, got wounds on each of my uh, Rebel veterans and the Mark II, and he's kind of moving her around there, and he's taking those, those are the Mark IIs of his, and sliding them around that way, kind of getting them into reposition, because he over, uh, 
compensated over here and I decided to kind of bait and switch and then put thought, everything in this I way. I thought being that a closer spot, there'd be more bombing. Oh, I wanted to initially, yeah, yeah. but once, once you put the Rebel Veterans over there, I had to deploy everything else over on this side. Uh, I activated my, uh, my AA-5 here. Um, oh, I was supposed to, well, I'm supposed to give out a dodge token. I forgot to do that. It's too late now. It's a couple of turns after. Um, I forgot to use Shriv. Oh, Shriv. Oh, no, Shriv is on the X-34, so I'm fine with that. Right. Um, I did the compulsory for the Reckless Driver. Uh, I moved aim and shot uh, to the Rebel Troopers. I rolled uh, two crits and a hit. Uh, Chewie used uh, Guardian to Guardian all three. Because of Protector. For the, or because of Protector. Um, even stopped the crits. So, uh, well, he took the wounds for them, which I'm okay with that. I mean, Chewie's going to he's gonna protect some wounds, but I think at some point he's going to have to die. Unfortunately. Sorry, Chewbacca. Uh, and now I'm, uh, a lot of that stuff is active. Han moved up, took an aim to give Chewie an aim, because Chewie's going to, I'm sure, do some shooting this round. But this ATRT uh, moved up and got in a range. He's going to try and shoot those Rebel Z6s right now uh, with no aim. So, because I only rolled the one aim here, and I didn't have it for the ATRT. Uh, we're going to get, um, well, we get two hits and a crit. Uh, and the two hit, you have heavy cover, so it's just going to be that one crit, and you can't guardian it because you did exhaust Protect. Protector. So, Got oh, it. all right. So you'll just take another suppression there. Those rebel troopers are like the iron troopers that won't go down. But LA, at least if I can get them suppressed, that'll be something. Who are you going with, sir? Uh, Pokemon core. Oh, maybe those rebel troopers before I make them panic. I got Han Solo right there. Oh, yeah. He's what, Courage 2? Yeah. Is he 3? He's 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did, he did run away pretty quick on the Death Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean... He's a smart commander. He doesn't know the courage yeah. is always is not the best. He's like, hey, it's time to get out of here. Job of the Hut's coming for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm surprised he doesn't have a flaw called a death mark. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool if they gave a different version of Han Solo a death mark flaw? That would be cool. It's not an easy thing to live with, you know. No. That bounty hunter they ran into on Ord Mantel. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, moving some guys up, getting some more dudes in position. He took some. He took a shot here from the Rebel veterans. Rolled two crits. I just spent my shields to get rid of those. Hopefully, I'll get some of these shields back from that gunk droid. Uh, veterans Draw. moved up. I got I got three suppression on those rebel uh, Z sixes now, um, and uh, only one unit gone. But now the the one of D turret is firing here. I'm going to get heavy cover because the escape pod in the way. Uh, but he's got a, he activated the uh, the impact generator, so you're going to have impact three. Yeah, and six six five five. Fortunately. Uh, cover is going to come into play before concert, uh, before any impact happens, so that th this is one of those times where it really might matter. And I don't have uh, speeder, but it doesn't matter because I have heavy cover right now. All right. Okay, so one crit naturally. You aimed, right? Okay. All right, so two surges, and do you have you don't have you have surge to hit? Yeah, do surge to hit. So surge to hit, you're going to have three hits, and then two of them will go away before, so then you'll be able to convert the one remaining to yeah. a crit. So two, so two all right, so I do have to roll these since I spent my shields already. That was a good a good session on mechanics, the way that all worked. Uh, and I roll white dice with surge to defense. Um, you can re-roll those. This one is, a, is it's cocked. cocked a little bit, although it might have ended up being a blank. It's still blank anyway. So I'm gonna take two wounds. <gasps> I need R2 to come over here and repair me, no! All right, so we went ahead and uh, went. Uh, I think everything's gone and moved now. He did get another a nice another nice shot up here. He got five damage through uh, with uh, with Chewbacca made this shot and then moved. Um, so I'm up to five wounds on this guy now. Um, and then uh, my speeder went last, and he's shooting into Chewbacca with everything Arsenal three. And I'm going to probably use the unstable R five Astromech. Well, it depends on how this shot goes. There we go. Whoa, four. And I have no aim, but uh, yeah, I'll take four. You're out of cover, so. Yep. All right. Oh, that's four damage. That's four damage. So how much does that get you up to? Seven? Yep. And how many health does Chewie have? Nine. We're going to pop that on Stable Astromech, and we're going to attack again. I do have light cover, though. You do have light cover, but <laughs> I have Surge to hit. It's worth it if I can kill Chewie. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be one activation. All right, so uh, that's four that's games. another four. So, so you're gonna, three. yeah, you're gonna roll against three, seven. So I need, I need this, I need this to be good. Don't roll like you roll when it's gin. You block yes. two, so that you're you're alive with one health left. Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness. So six, yeah, eight. <sighs> Can R two get to you? 
because that would I be. Think, I don't think Arkin two can do anything else. So if he disembarks after two moves, no, I only did one move action and I did an attack action. So I believe. I think the compulsory still counts towards that. I'll have to. Well, all right, so we're gonna check that yeah. and see if, if I can uh, if a compulsory and a move action stops him from from doing anything. All right, so we went back and checked a couple of things. First off, Chewie would have ha Chewie did die because he, out of the four wounds I had, he wouldn't have had light cover because I pushed him over his threshold. So he gained fearless and charge. As fearless, he wouldn't have gained the one suppression. So he rolled one extra defense die. It was a blank, which meant my extra wound would have went through, which was the one that killed him. So, yeah. uh, so that's one thing is when you know Chewie's weird because he has that shifting courage value. So I pushed him over the threshold, negating his uh, his benefit of cover. Um, so we fixed that. Also, we determined that even though it was a compulsory move, a compulsory does count as a standard move. So uh, it's a free standard move action. So I only took one regular move action, but it's, but the compulsory also counted as a standard move. So uh, R2 cannot uh, do you know his disembark and a regular action. So he's only going to be able to just do a regular disembark, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, it's, it's what it is. So uh, yeah, R2 is... We're gonna come in and try and try and cause some chaos, but uh, but he's gonna be farther out. He's not gonna get to move in and attack. But now he didn't have to try and attack Chewie at least since Chewie's off the board, and I had to worry about Chewie uh, charging and meleeing R two. At least R two's yeah. gonna have a suppression from Shiv giving them the dodge token in the suppression. All right, beginning of round two, um, he played two pip. No time for sorrows. I went with smoke screen and. Um, he went first, he did HQ uplinks too, so a lot of those guys all moved forward one. Uh, Smokescreen is kind of similar, I did issue one order to this guy, everybody else HQ uplinks, so all I have left in the pile is vehicles, so it's heavies and supports in the pile. Um, I do have some beginning of activation phase stuff, so I have an orthodox tactician, I get to roll uh, three red uh, defense dice and hand out some aim tokens based on these. So uh, for every ink I roll, I'll be able to hand out aim tokens, please don't give me... All right, two this time. All right, and that's better than, I guess, just the one. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. What's the range on that? One to, one to three. Oh, one to three. Ooh. Yeah, so they can't, I can't hit that guy, but I can hit everybody else. So I think some of my ATRTs are going to get some aim tokens. Yeah, that's probably the best All right, so he's going with the FD turret first, firing here, and he's doing fire support from a Mark II, which is smart. Lots more dice and adding critical two to the dice pool. And I've only got one shield. So the gunk did regenerate one shield. Oh, I see. I see some crits, and, or one crit and two surge. And you also have impacts. What three? Impact three. All right. So let's count. Well, two are going to go away because I have a cover. All right. You don't have a name, so we're looking at four. Yeah, four. That's pretty good. I will cancel one with a shield. All right. Oh, I wish I could. I wish that could have been a roll. Wow, that one fell out of my hand. All right, your luck three. is spent. All right, three. <gasps> Whoa, only one, but that does trigger resilience. It puts oh. me up to six. It puts me up to six. By the way, that five. That's not. That's a. That's a special. Um, luxury playstyle five. Uh, the crab look on the other side. Mark your commanders. You know what I'm saying. That's good stuff, right? All right. Um, all right. So resilience. Let's see. Oh, that's the action. Yep. All that's right. The best one for this. Probably. Yeah. I'm only gonna get one action, and I guess. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to compulsory and then uh, move again, or compulsory and shoot. All right. Um, oh, he's got the freaking bomb too. I need to. Uh, that's gonna be rough. Okay. Um, so that was, uh, that was that. All right. I guess I'm pulling, do I want to pull from the pile or do I want to do some craziness right now? That's my big question. Um, I'm going to pull from the pile. Support. Um, I got to go for one of these ATRTs before they get killed. This guy hasn't gone yet. He's not gone yet. These rebel veterans haven't gone yet. Nope. Those rebel veterans haven't gone yet. That's these two haven't gone yet. All right. I think I'm going to go with uh, this guy, and I think I'm going to aim and shoot the Rebel Veterans. So yeah. I'm going to have two aims, so five black with two aims. I'm going to really try and make this make this no count. Cover. Yep. Okay, I'm glad I had the two aims. I do have search to crit, so I mean, I love that. Yeah. So hit, hit, crit. I'm going to roll the first aim right here. Um, oh, that's five. So I'm going to re-roll again. You've only got one dodge on him, right? Two dodge. You have two dodges on him? Yep. I'll re-roll two of these hits. I'm actually re-rolling hits in this case, because well, I'm crazy. And they're blanks. Well, they would have been, oh. All right, well, two crits. So well, you, one. You, and one hit, so you dodge one. Yeah, you, there was only gonna be, well, I guess it would have been one more damage that you rolled against. Oh, oh that's two. We take that, Which we take one out was two. That? that was the closest, the oh, near gotcha. unit. That's two. Okay. Yeah, so that was actually a mistake, re-rolling all that, or, you know, sufficient for crits. But you know what? I'm having fun. Okay. Uh, and a suppression for them. 
Oh, yes. Since they are only courage one, that could be important. You're up. All right. Four. All right, so this thing moved up into the deployment zone with the compulsory and the regular move. Um, I dropped the bomb right there since we kind of measured and nobody would be able to pick it up. So it's, it's definitely going to go off um, at the end of this activation. But uh, a lot of his guys are now trying to take out this guy who's carrying a bomb up into the deployment zone. Also, they got two wounds on him. This guy's got one hit left until he dies. But he, Sean's pretty sure my bomb is going to kill me anyway, which is to be honest, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. All right, so he's, he's now shooting into this guy again. Um, ooh. No surge. No surge. No critical on that, and uh, that's 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 fortunate for me. Um, yep. I'm going to go ahead and... This guy's gone. I, if I pull from the pile right now, I'd get that dude, and I wouldn't mind taking a shot at Han. Before, before he activates. Before he activates, yeah. Um, so let's do, let's do that. Let's pull from the pile. We'll go with this guy. We're going to do a compulsory up and move behind there and see if I can take a shot at Han Solo. Oh, All right, so beginning of turn three, or actually end of turn two, bomb went off. Um, I got a victory point. Uh, it, it hurt uh, the tur that guy. It hurt those guys. Um, it did kill my speeder. So, hey, this guy did his job. Yeah, he did. He, you know, he got, got a victory point's hard to get right now. So, um, and, uh, and we killed Han with the, uh, the X-34 too, just rolling lots of dice. So yeah. that X-34 got two shots on Chewie that brought Chewie down. And like I had a, an ATRT shot on Han, but it also got... The final, he rolled all hits against Han. Yeah. All hits with with the aim. So there was one blank, but that became a hit. So uh, it, we got we got just enough to kill Han there too. And um, it was the X thirty four has really been the hero of this game. And R two <laughs> repaired it because he did. Sean got some damage on it, but R two repaired it. Uh, that's why R two is not farther forward. But I played uh, blast off, and so I'm going to go first here. R two is going to get the uh, the order token, and I recovered with both of these guys last turn. So I'm also going to. What's the thing that we do? Uh, HQ uplink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna HQ uplink on my veterans and then my Mark twos also. Yep. All right, so um, I, I shot his uh, guy there. I moved forward, uh, dropped the bomb in his deployment zone. So that's gonna be my second victory point. Um, nobody has enough room to get there in one move and then also pick it up. Yeah. So it's definitely gonna be a second victory point for me. And at this point, it's starting to look mm -hmm. like uh, it's a ma almost a mathematical impossibility for me to yeah. lose because we're, yeah, we're already halfway through the game. It's going to be a whole turn of him trying to get guys over here to pick these up. And then, you know, and then, then secret mission, another bomb, yeah, yeah. secret mission, another bomb. And, and, and they, he only has enough time to move. So I'd just be picking him off his, it's virtually a mathematic impossibility for me to lose at this point. Um, the only, I mean, unless you were to table me, and that's just simply it's, not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just move one rebel trooper back into the buildings it's, or something. Exactly. Um, the game was one in deployment. I think. Yeah, the deployment was a big part. So, so his only chance was for this guy to, oh, yeah, yeah. to rally, drop that one, move there, and pick that one up. And he didn't rally, rolled didn't rally three black. <laughs> so at this point, Sean's kind of going to concede, and uh, and and I and I get it. Um, so, I guess uh, the bit, yeah, the, we we talked about one of the big things that really helped me in this case is having eleven activations. Yeah. And with with five vehicles, that sounds strange, but the ATRTs aren't that expensive. Um, and and what what allowed me to have such a cheap uh, thing was having uh, Shriv as a battlefield commander. Yeah. Uh, on the on this on this guy over here, so uh, like so that gave me a lot of points and gave me a lot of flexibility with this list. Him and R two also had a little flexibility with command Absolutely. cards as well. Oh yeah, exactly. Because now I didn't have to run the exact six command cards that would have been available. I and, and I did. I run. I played blast off this round, so R two was going to be able to get in there, score up. Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't be able to shoot at him because he would have suppression. I'm you're in range of everything else. Yeah, and he gets to keep that suppression. Maybe lay it. Shriv really helped with the suppression too. Yeah. And I actually I decided to, to get rid of R two suppression last turn because blast off gives him one also. But yeah, um, R two was probably not going to die, and that's the other thing too. Is if even if you went for R two, then it means you weren't picking up those objective tokens, those bombs. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. It's all yeah. Go cascade it down. Yeah. I my original thought is that he was gonna, that that was the quickest route, and he's got all the other vehicles. Gonna go he's gonna this way. Over, yeah. But. And I and I thought about doing that too, um, but I had enough core, having five core options, and they weren't. Like the rebel veterans are heavy hitters, but uh, just putting them kind of over here to kind of focus on the middle, uh, yeah. I was able to delay long enough for you to start putting some of your valuable, your, your rebel veterans. Once yeah. you started putting those rebel veterans over here, I know how effective they can be with concentrate fire and, uh, or I mean, with your standby. Well, normally, but I was not rolling those today. <laughs> no, well, you rolled armor, great. You know, but you, yeah, the the yeah, problem was armor. you don't, like, especially in the in our games, I don't usually run that much armor. And this time I had five oh, units with armor. Well, they, 
with five or four units we, with full armor. That guy with armor too. That one, like the armor did block the damage it out. It did. It yeah. really did. So um, yeah, so armor was a huge help this time. I, uh, I, I I probably would have lost that ATRT and maybe even one more, but. Uh, oh, but, yeah, so you're going to repair the ATRT this turn too. <laughs> well, it all depends on how I went. That's why I didn't activate R2 first. Yeah. I wanted to him, because he was safe, so I figured, well, let me go him, do him last. And also, you fire supported a couple of times. That was crucial in bringing down the AA5, but, but at the same time, yeah. you, when you were already behind in activations, you gave me even more flexibility that way. Yep. And so last turn, I had a ton, and that's and I was that's how I was able to get in and, and just kill Han before he could go, and, and then it was... You know, taking up Chewie and Han and so had, early he, helped. Yeah, two consecutive like the consecutive turns was a yeah, so, good win. So it was, uh, but it was it, it was an interesting game. This one was different than a lot of our other games. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, I think that's fun. It's 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 real fun to to have different experiences and to change up your lists. Yeah. And, Objective, uh, objectives matter. Like having a bombing yeah. run. Yeah. Like if say it was any other one, it might have been a little different. Oh game, yeah, bombing, bombing run was run. crucial in this case because yeah. yeah, if it wasn't that, if it was key positions or something like that, you you had it all over the middle. I was going to have a hard time getting in there, especially with all the extra dodge tokens those guys were yeah, saving. Yeah, that was my dude. He was like, "Hey, Lake, and pass them all out." Yeah, she was handing out some. lots of dodge because she had the she has her two two her two, and then she's also got the the scanner. Yeah. So she was giving out three dodge a turn with her and Han having vigilance. Those guys were actually able to keep two a turn that's yeah that was the idea is once i was able once if they got if i did have to fortify an area i was gonna fortify a freaking yeah. area <laughs> no it was really fun um really cool terrain too so uh, oh, big thanks gorgeous. to urban mats for uh sending all this out and uh you can check out reviews for some of that of you go to crabock.com i've got a uh, whole reviews section so be sure to check that out and uh also uh, check out other links hop in discord talk about stuff there uh, for all that good groovy stuff so i will Sean, you got anything else? No, no. Right. Thank you. Great game, man. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thanks for playing. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, may the force be with you. Don't forget also, um, you know, to, to wipe from uh, front to back. And always brush your tacos. Brush your tacos. That's the words of wisdom from Sean. All right. Have a great day.